Hi everyone, welcome. Today we are going to discuss about a very exciting AI agent that can control your computer. Imagine next time you want to book a flight, you can just ask an AI agent to do it. It can directly go to the internet and book the flight ticket for you. Or better yet, it can search Reddit for your favorite posts and put them all into a document so that you can read it later. Or maybe you can do anything else with this new AI agent that we are talking about. So the agent that we are talking about is called browser use. So let me bring this up. Yeah. So this is the GitHub project, which is hundred percent open source that is making websites accessible for AI agents. So what does it exactly do? So this agent can actually go to websites and it can actually do actions by itself. So it can autonomously navigate web. It can manage multiple tags. It supports both visual and HTML extraction. So whenever it's on a website, it can either look at the screen or maybe extract the HTML to make decisions on what to click and what, where to go from there. It works with multiple different LLMs, both LLMs and vision models. And you can also define some custom actions around that. So this is a very exciting library. So what we will do is we will use this library to book some flight tickets and we and we will also see if it can search through Reddit and give us some information about some news that we want. So let's get started. The code that we'll be using. So you first need to install the browser use uh, library. So let me install that. So I already have it installed, so not an issue. So I'm just loading my ENV variables. And this is the OpenA API key. And one thing that I really love about browser use is the simplicity of using this. So if you want a AI agent to find a one way flight for you, you just have to mention the task and mention the model. Everything else will happen autonomously. So that's crazy. So here is a code snippet of uh, me asking an AI agent to find a one way flight from LA to Washington DC on 20th Jan. So I'm going to use uh, a GPT-40 model. So that is what uh, is mentioned in this. So let me just run this piece of code and you can see what happens. So let me run this code. The agent is opening Chrome by itself. It has did a Google search for the flight. So as you can see, my hands are free as well. I'm not touching anything. So it's now finding the flight. As you can see, it is giving the result also. The cheapest one way flight from Los Angeles to Washington DC on 20th Jan is by Frontier Airlines, which costs $151. So as you can see, I just had to give a single line prompt and I just gave it uh, access to GPT-40 model. And it actually did everything by itself and without uh, uh, using anything. So that's a wonderful use case. So let me try one more thing with this. So this is what I'm doing. So even for this use case, I wanted to try uh, apart from GPT-4 or GPT-40, what are the other vision models that I want to use? So what I want to do is I'll just ask the agent to go to local Llama subreddit and search for news on latest vision models so that uh, we can find a vision model that we can use with browser use as well. So let me run this. You can see that it has opened Chrome by itself. And again, I'm hands free. Now it's going into Reddit. So it's actually typing the latest vision models. And you can see the search results also, as you can see. So I really love recording this video. So I, I just have to sit like this and let the AI uh, do everything. Yeah, I think we have the results ready. So let me look at that. So it has actually navigated to this. So it shows that there is a new model moon dream to be model. It talks about some other news and all, which looks great actually. So this is how uh, you can use uh, browser use agent to navigate web uh, hands free.
And I think this is one of the wonderful use cases of AI agents with vision models that we are seeing. I can only think about uh, these models and these agent frameworks becoming a lot more powerful. And maybe very soon, in a few months of time, we'll be able to browse the entire internet just through voice or completely hands-free. So the future is very exciting. So try browser use yourself. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe Build Fast with AI for more updates on AI.